Earlier this month, FSRN's Alice Olstein reported on major banks making profits off the nation's jobless by charging fees on the prepaid debit cards that many states use to distribute unemployment benefits. Oregon, one of the states that charged the most fees, announced that it's renegotiating its contract with U.S. Bank to give unemployed Oregonians a better deal. For more on this development, we're joined by Alice Olstein. Hi, Alice. Hello. What's the latest on this deal in Oregon? So the exact details of the contract won't be published until uh, the end of the year, December 31st, but the state treasurer has announced that all uh, point-of-sale, bank teller, and U.S. bank ATM transactions will be free and unlimited, which they were not before. There was a cap on how many times a card user could go even to a U.S. bank ATM. So they've done away with that. Uh, But um, groups such as Economic Fairness Oregon still have uh, criticisms of the new contract. Um, The overdraft fee uh, is still in place, it seems. Also, uh, they are still charging a fee on using a non-U.S. bank ATM. That's an issue because a lot of Oregon uh, communities are very rural and may not be near a U.S. bank, maybe, in fact, very far away from one. And it's also those rural communities where unemployment is especially prevalent. And what could that mean for other states who have similar deals with private banks? Well, uh, nearly a dozen states are supposed to renegotiate their contracts before the end of next year, 2012. And uh, now that these reports are out comparing each state's contract, there's a lot more transparency and a lot more tools for advocates to get involved. For instance, they can say, well, I'm looking at this report and South Carolina also has a contract with U.S. Bank and they don't have any penalty fees at all, no overdraft, no nothing. So it's unfair if our state does. Um, Also, the federal government uh, may have uh, more of an involvement in the future. Senator Dick Durbin of Illinois is spearheading a group of lawmakers that are pushing for more regulation of these contracts and sort of more assistance from the federal government when the states are going into these negotiations with the private banks. That's FSRN's Alice Olstein giving us an update on bank fees and unemployment benefits. Thanks, Alice. Thanks so much.